Welcome back, citizens and friends of the stars. The new Eden Republic. We're gonna go forward here, and we have a lot to do this time. We want to get, yeah, we want to get more consumer goods. Of course, we also want to continue our military buildup as to be ready for the next idea our democratic uh, friends have for us, our, yeah, democratic crusaders mainly. And then these guys might also have an idea. We'll see about that. We're again gaining some relationship with them. They are technologically equivalent, which is quite nice. And uh, we'll just see if we can make our Federation for the Future take off. We want also, of course, more energy credits. And in general, whoops. Yeah, there was something we wanted to do. Um, 600 minerals. But now I want to wait for this because I think we're going to go prosperity. Prosperity is increasing our mining station output by 10%, which will be good for us. And then we have a lot of options that will all be good. Build cost reduced, build speed increased for buildings and districts. City districts provide one additional housing. And we have city districts with one additional clerk job. And we have creative collectives, specialist pop resource output increased by 5% further increasing our research and building upkeep and district upkeep reduced by 10%. All of that is really, really nice. And um, we're just going to adopt prosperity. May we, may you live long and prosper, they say. And yeah, that's no joke. <laughs> now let's go and give us some more civilian fabricators as that's what we, we mostly need de definitely. So here we go. And in the next, uh, we can see how much our mineral output goes up now that we have. Research well, 11. That's not bad. And look at that. We're at C plus zero there. <laughs> that's nice. We've also completed the research of eco uh, ocean ecology management that will well help us at some point in the future. Given enough processing power, networked sensors and distributed stations, even the ocean currents can be managed to a fine level of control. Ooh, look at that. We can go arcane deciphering. That would be terribly fascinating. Uh, then we have faction influence gain plus one deep space black site. That's all very useful. We could go that too, but we don't have a bonus on that. And we're, we're really looking for these bonuses to kind of catch up. Terraforming wouldn't be bad, but I think we're just going to use our artifact for that. Food processing centers are something very good, but we don't have a bonus on it either. Deep crust engineering, we have a good bonus on it from Onyx Noir. So that would introduce that technology into our research federation and um, I mean in time we're gonna lose that that research uh, treaty with the Onyx Noir I'm pretty sure of that so that would be a tactically good thing to go for this though it's pretty unique and a good chance so it's a tough choice that would also um, enlighten our federation a lot and I think that's not bad if the, if the AI does it. We don't need that just at the moment. So we're going for reverse engineering minor artifacts for random technology bonuses. Gain progress in a random tech gain research points or gain a temporary research speed bonus. That's what we're going to do right now. And uh, of course, continue our ways. We also want to expand more stations let's see i mean we have expanded cormagion station here in the middle of it and i th i like to think we are not in danger here look there's a system that has no connection to anything i want to get there somehow it's crazy uh, but um as you can see we have the all lossy here again mm -hmm. They're a little bit suspicious, but they're not... I mean, they are overwhelming. That's kind of the problem here. We have favors on them, though. And they are not really 
that relevant, we have to say. I mean, their fleet power is probably higher than ours, but other than that, I don't think if we need to protect these guys too much. So we can we can definitely go for uh, some more trade here and a hangar bay. And then maybe something else here, something not that uh, uncivil. A listening post, I'm not sure about that. I think we can even go as far for uh, and, and go for like a resource silo, or we could go for a hydroponics bay. And both are pretty good, but I don't think we need the resource silos at the moment. Just a hydroponics bay. We also don't need that, so we're just going to go for what we have right here. Then let's see about, uh, about the other stations here. And we, we have the Wonders of Light. We're already upgrading here to a Starhold and why not go further and go for the lightweight mountains upgrade as well here we go that's gonna be nice and here in the lightweight mountains we're gonna wait for some more minerals uh, same goes for the shores of hope before we decide on anything these guys will merge together now Let us see. So we have upgraded that. Mm. We need better sensors. Swarm tactics are th still... Um, still the way. Still the way. We don't need much tracking too because, yeah, that's... With these small weapons, they do don't need much tracking. So we're going to overwrite that design and going to upgrade that fleet. Hopefully quickly enough. Silicron Construction Matrix is now the rival as well here. Let's look at the Silicron. What are they doing? They are wary and they are belligerent. Rapid replicators, constructor bots, delegated functions. The silicron. Hmm. Unreadable string. <laughs> what? <laughs> nice. Uh, they're at war with a Chitinic chain empire and they might swallow them up. And that's why we have them as rivals in here, I guess. Mm, requires terrible relations. Yeah, we're not gonna go for down that path for now. Not gonna actively seek conflict. Aha! Chitinic Chain has declared us their rival. Well, uh, okay, yeah, we <laughs> we have always been your rival. Look, the fleet powers again equivalent to us. Brian Hall hopefully stops the, the, the silicon construction matrix here. But we'll see about that. We'll see how, how that, that comes to. Look at this. Now tomb Up worlds are habitable. And why is that? Who could who could actually go there out there and do it? It's because we have the cybernetic bonus and the Onyx Noir Variators are going to be living quite okay on that tomb world, so we're going to send them to Gruno Prime as well. And in time, also to <laughs> self produced Ice Eden Mountains Prime. Uh, Starbase has finished its construction queue. Mm. In the icy Eden Mountains. The question is, what are we going to do? Probably expand on that. Like, we have the Naval Logistics Office. 
that's fine. We're gonna go Fleet Academy here as well. And maybe um, we could protect a bit with a hangar bay. Or we could just go for another anchor ridge. And then a shipyard. So there's that. Moving in here. Nice. Research is growing. We need these consumer goods. What are you doing? We need the consumer goods now. Research actualized. Come on. Oh, it's too slow. <laughs> What's going on with the Cronua virus? They're insulting us. Ludicrous bear apes. Your attempts to hide your repulsive fluid secretions are mocked by all finer species, and your vanity is the hallmark of an inherently ugly breed. Uh, uh -huh. Now we have weather control system, city district housing plus one, very helpful. The ability to alter a plant's weather patterns to suppress destructive weather phenomena will make residential buildings easier to maintain and open up new areas for habitation. Well, that's pretty great. And uh, now let's see what else we can go for. Mm, the afterburners, very good for military. Sublight speed, evasion increase, and the mineral purification hubs. Mm, not that much needed yet. The Star Fortress, look at that. Wow, just crazy. Mm, auto cannon. Mm. I mean, we're into other weapons. Mm, the replicator kiosks, advanced mineral purification. Don't have a bonus on that. The afterburners neither, but Star Fortress is pretty interesting, and we have a a, a whopping bonus of 136% of that. So we're gonna go for that. Let's make space safer again, and we have also some new minerals. So let's see what we can do here. New Eden complex, and. Um, one of the things we want to do on New Eden Complex is, well, more alloys. Maybe research districts, uh, replace them with habitation districts, but for now. Um, we still have some housing. And the question is, can we go for a Ministry of Production already? Do we have that? No, I don't think so. Well, then we'll go for... <laughs> More alloy foundries, I guess. Here we go, because we always need more alloys at the moment. It is like that. It's just like that. That's gonna get to us. Research actualized. We now have self-aware colony ships. The colony development speed goes up by another 50%. Sufficiently advanced systems are capable of optimizing themselves if they are made acutely aware of the purpose for which they were made. Yeah, I mean, that's the same for us, right? We're made for the purpose of, well, whatever. You think of a purpose and then you go for that purpose and then you are very, very apt at it. Now, let's go for that lab, just so we have it. It would be something like, we encounter the curators, we get the technologies and even if they're not that useful, maybe. It's going to be not bad. Definitely not bad. Uh, let's look at that Gaia world. I mean, at least it's going to increase our effectiveness of the research. Um, now the lightweight mountains again, right? We want to get some exotic gases or something like in that, in that area. And um, yeah, maybe chemical plants are the way to do it. We'll see. What do we need most? What do we have? I mean, volatile modes or rare crystals are both definitely what we need. What are they currently producing? They're, I think they're producing um, gas. So gas is also going to be good, but yeah, just these material things that we need, that we will need. Hmm. Let's see, what do we need to upgrade these? 
some more of the crystals. So yeah, I think I think it might be good to go for some more crystals, synthetic crystal plants. Here we go. That's our plan for this. Come on. <laughs> Give us the civilians. Uh. Enterprise established. Now, we have so many newly founded colonies. It's going to be very interesting and it's going to be a lot of renaming done. It's quite nice. Um, oh my goodness. Uh, I think we might need to acquire something again. Let us see if we can get something done that way. Hmm. I need some consumer goods, my friends. Oh, they're they are coming relatively cheap from them. So, let's see how they value exotic gases. Oh. No, let's go for that. And it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. See what we can do here. Mm. The shores of hope, that rural world. We have synthetic crystal plants going here. We should remove some things here. Mm. We have some housing, but not many amenities. Mm. That's the question, right? I mean, the base value of amenities it's just very low on the city districts it's just very very basic um let's see what we can do here to alleviate that a little better i think gene clinics are the way to go on the shores of hope for now yeah if, i mean if we can get the economy right then everything else will fall into place that's basically it and it's it's definitely getting better as you can see. Which water star base finished that? How is the upgrade going? Research going Curator Exploration Lab is ready. Its shipboard lab facilities incorporate advanced technologies from the ancient curator order to further increase survey speeds. And now, yeah, again, a lot of good things to pick from. This one. Combat algorithms be one of our pet peeves of Vidala del Paz, the barrier point defense. It's something which we do not want to go for. I mean, the energy weapons path is going to be uh, needed to, to progress to more energy weapons. So we'll need that and we have the hyperdrive that is also pretty good. Mm, the FTL inhibitors, yeah, but that's that's gonna be coming anyways. Uh, the shields, pretty great. Mm, yeah, I think shields would be would probably be the way to go, right? Shields, definitely a thing. And we're gonna go shields. Shields are the way to go. For the next upgrade of our ships, we'll need better shields, and that's going to be fine. So everything is in the plus. That's so relaxing, but look at that. <laughs> we need so many minerals. Research actualized. We will have to go for minerals on every planet we have. Arcade deciphering now we have. We can go for reverse engineering. But we don't have to. It it can also be something like a last resort. So interstellar campaigns would be very useful later on, of course. Soil remediation and subterranean colonization very helpful too. Refit standards definitely something to go for at least later. 
but also now i mean the ship upgrade cost and the ship upkeep is pretty pretty helpful and we've got this one no one's interested in that it seems um commerce megaplexes something very good soil remediation yeah that's gotta be in some research sharing mm, maybe we're just gonna do that we don't have really the the thing except the refit standards right the refit standards are just so useful we're gonna go for the refit standards we want our ships ready for for the next conflict all the time and that's why we're gonna go for refit standards next thing we want to go for is our ocean planet hmm. or the former ocean planet i'm not sure no here the seas of the dark portal and we really want to upgrade this administrative park here if we can now let's see we need a lot of minerals so we're gonna go for that too like basically everywhere and that includes this station here let's see mm, yeah but there's an available job so we're not gonna go for that at the moment power of the stars has zero zero hmm what did we want out of the power of the stars that's the question um, I think energy energy would be like the commerce center and then we're going to go for the other things gene clinics would be helpful i think but we have so many amenities already i don't think we need a lot of growth here hmm yeah why not it's gonna it's gonna be our commercial commercial planet here and our kitten refugees arrive a flotilla of civilian transports carrying kitten refugees from the silicon construction matrix have arrived in our space they have been allowed to settle on lightweight mountain prime these unfortunate outcasts were forcefully expelled from their homes by the silicon authorities they've been traveling from system to system since then in a desperate attempt to find new homes before the last of their dwindling supplies were used up they are welcome here let's see the chitinic chain yeah they have lost something here if i'm not mistaken yeah here they're fleeing from the war oh no they made peace with the chitinic and the chitinic chain empire uh got three systems vodriax as mickey and needs vodriax here wow hmm well what i'd think we should do i don't know if they are still valid rivals for us mm. <laughs> So we should try to claim now and see what we can do. That is claimed by the Paringos. That is unclaimed. Claimed by Paringos. Unclaimed. Unclaimed. Because there are some systems that are pretty cheap, like Witris is pretty cheap. And this one, Pua. We have that. We have this one is also very cheap. We have Poa, that is very cheap, and that has a desert world on it. And we have this, this, this. These are all okay systems, but don't get fooled by the mineral and stuff output. It's <clears throat> not going to be as good. Actually, that's where the Peringos want something. So <clears throat> we're going to cut here and see if we can get into that direction with our claims sus cuts more there's <clears throat> yeah the distance affects us from the cost here drill tab that's of course we yeah, are worth something <clears throat> just gonna go for the cheap systems like ferrothon is cheap and boy boss is definitely cheap that is not cheap. B 
Arbitrius is 80, but the Peringos want that, and they can get that. It's it's not important to us. 100. That's about it. What I what I what I want to expend. I mean, there's there's that black hole. And that might be worth something. But there's no uh, dark matter in that. Hmm. Sebel Rai, yeah, that's 100. That's too much. I just want to make these claims and be done with it for now. What could a wretched space beast possibly have to say that would interest the Chitinic Chain Empire? Well, we want your systems. That that would be what we'd say. Um, at least some of the systems. And in Icy Garden, we'll also start building like mining districts because we're going to need mining from everywhere. Looking at that. Gonna see what we can do here. By the Chitinic Chain Empire. Let's see. We're upgrading here. We're upgrading here. And let's also upgrade this one. Just like that. We will also need to. Oh, 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 we can. Ha 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 ha! A relic. Yeah, what relic? Of course, the, the right one. The best one. Now let's now see. Mm, lightweight mountains, the wonders of life here. And maybe it's time either for Icy Garden or for. Yeah, Seas of the Dark Portal. I think that was what we wanted. Um, so let's go for this. Let's activate the relic. And our administrative bureaucratic center. We've got the new bowel life seeding. Turns the planet into a Gaia, a Gaia world by deploying gene tailored plant life injected with the unique bowel ability of organic terraforming. As you can see, our geneticists have extracted the secret of the bowel organism's ability to terraform a planet by deploying rapidly producing plant life modified with specially selected bowel genetic data to the plant we can terraform entire biospheres at a fraction of the cost our environmental specialists are pleased to report that the terraforming process on seas of the dark portal has completed and has been successfully transformed into a gaia world owing to our deployment of laboratory created plant hybrids containing carefully selected segments of the bowel genetic code once again, as a result of the process itself not quite fully understood to our geneticists, a number of new bowel populations have appeared planet side, emerging with terraforming near completions. Incredible. It's gonna be nice. We already have these now. And uh, I think we can put them to work very, very shortly. To the mines with a new bowel. <laughs> Now the thing is, we just we just don't need uh, more agriculture at the moment. So here we go mm, to the mines. We really need minerals, and that's why it's to the mines in every instance where we can do that. And look at that. We're we're relatively good with the alloys, with the food, and everything again. And uh, that tomb world is going to be settled on. And now we're going to go for that tomb world here, and we're going to see send. <laughs> <laughs> Some Chitinic people, maybe? They're venerable, natural engineers, slow learners, decadent, wasteful. Decadent is a is a problem a little bit. I mean yeah, I mean they are just better here at the moment than, than our lithoids. And they consume minerals instead of food. Hmm. <laughs> Ruck Ruck. What is that? Lithoid. Ingenious Lithoids. The Ruck Ruck. I'm not sure. Um, hmm. Who else could settle? Yeah, the Chitinic Chain Empire. 
Oh, what the hell? I mean, let's just send some refugees over. Like, that could be um, some kind of... That's that's a story thing, right? Like, we have these refugees coming over, and they now must colonize the tomb world. Research us. actualized. Upscaling complete. As they know about the tomb worlds from their background. We have completed the research of Star Fortress. These mighty space forts will provide a focal point for all military activity in the star system, but their presence is sure to deter all but the most stubborn attackers. <clears throat> and we have a lot of things we can go for, like the Elgate inside from the Onyx Noir also. And the advanced destroyer hulls are pretty rare and pretty good. I think we're going to go for these following um, following just the gut instinct natural sanctuaries oh yes okay let's continue in what we do how are we doing right now yeah we're still upgrading it's fine I mean, we're definitely gearing up for a new war at the moment. It's it's just like that. It's upscaling complete. The wonders of Lithia's starbase has finished the construction queue. Enterprise upsizing. And then we're going to go for trade routes. Uh, so we're going to have another trade hub and a hangar bay. And here I'm not sure yet. Um, we could definitely go. Yeah, let's let's make a resource silo there. In the end, we will need it. It will give us a job or something. And hmm. our mining world now—is that so? <laughs> Post Spiron Meta Humans. We have all kinds of weird people coming to us. Um, we have the synthetic crystal plants. They will help us a lot. Mm. and i think we could just go for more of these but that's too expensive and so in the end we might we might go for more for more city districts <laughs> i'm not even sure it's just gonna be very interesting what we'll what we'll get next let's wait a bit We can go for something here. We can go for something here. Yeah, more mines. More mines are always a good bet at the moment. Ships upscaled. Strike Force Thoughtful Gamers fleet has been upscaled, and we've gained a little bit of of power. But they are much better, I think now, and um, now we can we can start like expanding this to possibly fifty five or something like that. In the end, and let's just build a few. As a Chichinic chain empire, again, insults. Look at yourselves. What is that thing in your face? That's some kind of mouth? Wait, is that even your face? How can you not see that? The meta humans are an affront to nature. And we have shields. These new shield generators represent the next generation of energy screens, replacing the older deflector technology. They offer significantly better protection. Very good for us. And uh, oh, oh, so much that we can get subspace sensors would be nice. Uh, plasma accelerated does don't we don't need that um, I think subspace sensors or the research Institute might be something are we gonna get that anyways then we have this mm, mm, not that much needed subspace sensors there's that right uh, are we gonna need them they're going to probably be pretty useful later on. The Research Institute is also good. But it's too early for that. We're going to go subspace sensors. 
The West defense is some kind of offense or something like that. No offense meant. Lightweight mountains. We will need some jobs there. I'm not sure what to go for. Already probably another city district. That will give us a lot of jobs. Upscaling and complete. That's what we might need. We have five districts open here still. That could be just the agricultural districts, you know. <laughs> and we're gonna need these. In the end, we're gonna need these. Definitely, so... Probably rather going for one of these in between. And then later on going... For the tougher stuff. And what could we go for here? Maybe probably that Otterton Monument thing will be good in the end. And on our research station, yeah, upgr up upgrading the mega forges would be pretty nice. Um, even though consumer goods. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not not that sure. All of these colonies, yeah, and here we also have the Otterton Monument. And the mining district, that's gonna be the thing to go for. A scientist gained a trait. Perfect alibi Jackson now has... has what? He's a maniac now. Oh, that's so cool. We have another maniac. Let's celebrate. <laughs> hmm. Is he better than Vidala? Yeah, he's that 5% better. But not when she's going for her specialty, of course, which which she is at the moment. But that's that's absolutely great to know. He has become a maniac. <laughs> that's so cool. Can's hope. Um, yeah, you know that district, that Astro Mining Bay. We definitely want to go for it. Oh, now! Now it's coming. A transmission from the from the forerunners. What do you want now? Again, the xenophiles. Oh, yeah. Greetings, metahumans. As you no doubt know, we, Glir, are dedicated to the study and conservation of all forms of life in the galaxy. Is that that again? Our people are not for sale, Glir. Yeah, 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 yeah. We have we had that already. They're gonna come asking again and again. Hopefully they're not declaring a war on us, but they're xenophiles, so it's unlikely. We're missing out on some boons, maybe, but um, yeah, it is how it is. Then it's just it's gonna be that way. It's fine. It's we don't need that kind of thing. I mean. Research actualized. And here. And here. Mm. We need some more bureaucracy, right? Um, could do that here. Or just here. Some more bureaucratic offices. Gotta be pretty nice. Wonders of Lithia. here. Order a new mining district and refit standards. Standardizing workflows for upgrading and retrofitting ship components can lead to massive efficiency gains. That's true. And that's why we're going to go for that. And now. That's again a pretty interesting decision. I mean, I would go in a heartbeat for another military one, but... We're just going to have to see. I mean, that would be very helpful, but there's no bonus on it. 
Galactic Bureaucracy is the same, but there's no bonus in it. Dangerous Wildlife Removal will be useful at some point in the future, and we might lose the bonus from the Onyx Noir. So that's a good thing to have. Cyto Revitalization Centers, Advanced Food Processing, all good, but no bonus. I think we're going to stall this out and go for this thing. We, are, we don't have the, the resources to invest in any other things that, than basic ones at the moment, so it's the safe bet. What's going on here? Yeah, they definitely have good fleets. Look at that. We need better fleets in the future. I mean, they're not bad at the moment. We'll see. Colonial Enterprise upsizing. We'll see. We'll just have to go and add some more. Mm. But we will need some upgraded stuff here. Shields 3. I'll have that here. Let's just boost the fleet again. That's what we need to do to make this good. Yeah, we would like some of these flavorful ones, right? <laughs> but I fear we'll have to go for the const uh, for the for the astro mining bay again. Even though we practically cannot afford it. So, mm, question is what to go for. Research actualized. And I think, I think, I think gene clinics are the way to go here as well. Advanced destroyer hulls. The latest generation of destroyer hulls have optimized structural integrity fields and improved bulkheads. Very nice. And look at that. Ooh, ooh. Defense platform hull points. That's going to be so great. And that is also pretty good, but it's extremely expensive. The cruiser pro. Oh, there's so many things we want to get here. I think the way to go, though, is this one. At the moment, it's just the best. We have a big bonus. It's a rare technology. We're going to go for it. Tilusten has leveled up. Nice. Hello. Again. Solidarity of Paringo wishes to declare war against the Custodian Matrix. They are superior in their fleet power. They have some kind. They have a defensive pact with the Silicon Construction Matrix that is also superior. That's gotta be dangerous. My goodness, but they have already said yes, so. Oh. Well, well. That's something, eh? A war declaration. Well, we'll see each other in the next episode uh, while I try to figure out what to do then. Have a great time until next time and happy gaming. This is Immanuel Khan signing out. See you soon, my friends, and happy gaming. We're going to see if we can hold against the combined force of the Silicon Construction Matrix and the Custodian Matrix, because that's nothing to sneeze at. Have a great time until then, and happy gaming. This is Ivan Khan signing out.